Hi, I'm Paul. I'm here up at the Bike Shed Show 2019. Brought my bike up to uh, be on Shed Row. The bike's a 1976 Moto Guzzi Le Mans, but uh, I bought to restore as an original, uh, having built a couple of other CAF racers, lost the interest in building it as a standard bike, and decided to do my take on a Mark I Le Mans wanting to keep some of the features of a Mark I Le Mans so you could see what it was, but my, put my spin on it. Let me give you a few more details and take you through the bike. We've renewed all the discs, calipers, they're all standard. Front forks have been rebuilt with new stanchions, uprated springs and uprated dampers. Cut down standard Mark I Le Mans mudguard. Handmade aluminium front fairing which we've skinnied down, shortened so that it's still got the shape of a Le Mans fairing, but much smaller, with a much smaller headlight. To go with the new brakes, we've put Akasato Master on there with a Rizoma fluid level. Akasato matching clutch lever. We've got um, Moto Gadget switches going through a full Moto Gadget electronic system. Daytona Speedo. Again, kept the, st the standard uh, tap top fork, just machined it to take a mount to mount the fairing and to mount the speedo off. The fuel tank initially had a lip round it with the uh, ignition barrel for the original bike, so we've welded in a new plate to make it a smooth flush all the way down to the frame to make it flow nicely. The engine has been completely rebuilt, uh, now a 950. Everything that was out of tolerance has been replaced. It's got new Ducati charge system, silent hectic electronic ignition, which gets rid of the distributor, makes it a lot more accurate. Gearbox has been completely rebuilt with lots of parts, new valve springs on the heads, new carburetors, got a ram lightweight flywheel and single plate clutch, so you've got nice clutch lever action. Handmade to my spec exhaust system, running through to some very short, almost straight through silencers using LSL rear sets with pillion pegs because the only reason I was allowed to buy this bike was so that Debbie, my fiance, was allowed to go on the back. So hence why the seat unit has a pillion seat and she has been on it and she didn't fall off. And yes, she can get a bum on that section. Again, handmade aluminium moulded in rear tail light. We decided to do a checker on the seat for my part of the seat and leave hers blank, but putting a little bit of a lump in there just so that she could feel when she was moving forwards and then just put an accent of an embroidered Italian flag around it. Rear suspension, YSS shocks work really well and rebuilt uh, final drive unit, nothing needed doing with there, just new seals. So on the frame, we've uh, done a little bit of detagging to get rid of all the battery and everything that was originally kept here. The frame rails have been cut at the back here and tucked up underneath is a rear subframe which houses the battery and all of this is an integral part of the brace to the rear seat unit. Uh, we've got a handmade battery plate there which I got engraved with uh, my name on. Didn't want to be too big headed but it's my bike. The rear aluminium piece there is uh, again handmade aluminium rear mudguard. We've got underneath a plate here which houses the silent hectic electronic ignition unit, the moto gadget brains and the ignition unit here for a, a swipe key for the ignition system. And finishing at the back with Rizoma indicators and running lights matching the front indicators and running lights too. I'm off now to put the bike on the plinth for the bike shed in the shed row and then I'm off for a well-earned beer.
Don't forget to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel for the Bike Shed. They post two videos a week and don't forget to like them.